I have seen a few cases of devotees, how they face death. There was a de lady in Delhi, beautiful work she was doing. All on a sudden, it was discovered she is having cancer. She was treated in Switzerland, went to Bombay for treatment. Then it was beyond cure. Then what happened is a wonderful story. She was lying down. There's a picture of Sri Ramakrishna on the wall. Her husband and relatives were in the room talking with her. Then, after some time, can you bring that picture? They brought it and gave it to her. Then, will you please go to the next room? I want to be alone. They all went, closed the door. She took the picture, did like this, and just died. When they turned back to the room, she is dead. And the husband said, I felt I am in a shrine room. This whole house became a shrine. This is not ordinary death. This is the way. She died thinking of Sri Ramakrishna, full of joy. The body is gone, finished. Now, such deaths are there. Many cases are there of this kind of death, what they call triumph over death. We had a great sage in India by name, Tulsidas. His Ramayana is popular. 200 million people study that book. Many have memorized that book. Tulsidas Ramayana. 16th century saint. He had a saying, and I like all our children in America also, hear that saying. He said, telling himself, Tulsi, when you were born, you were crying, and the world were full of smiling and joy. And when you die, live such a life, you will life, laugh and go away, the world will weep for you. That is the best thing that we can do. You came crying, you go smiling. Leaving the world in sorrow, why? This great man has gone. So live a life and then go away. That is a beautiful sentiment for us. So in the Gita it is written at the time of God, at the time of death, repeat the Lord's name. People sing bhajan when our people die. That is what we do. Just to keep that God consciousness alive. So that the mind is peaceful. Mind, we, we leave the body in a peaceful state of mind and a sense of joy. That is but that means attachment to the world must become less and less. That is very important. Attachment to the world itself is called death. That is death. This is triumphant over death. That's the idea. This is blind attachment is death. That's the language of the Upanishads.